What is going on, guys? My name is John, and welcome back to my channel for Johnny. If you're new to the channel, of course, feel free to hit that subscribe button and finger the notification bell. Keep up all my uploads. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be looking at the new Saints Row stuff that has been releasing for the new Saints Row reboot, the Saints Row remake that is coming very, very soon. As a lot of you don't know, because why would you? I'm a very small channel, but some do, obviously, especially if you're part of the Discord. Link in the description below. Come join the Discord if you want to be a part of, honestly, a pretty, a pretty cool group of people. As a lot of you don't know, like I said, I'm a huge fan of Saints Row. Saints Row 1 and 2 being so amazing that, that they might be some of the best games on the 360. Saints Row 3 kind of dropping off a little and Saints Row 4 becoming something else entirely. Uh, Saints Row 4 wasn't a bad game. I do feel like they. I wish they would have called it not Saints Row 4. <laughs> yeah, it, you, you were a superhero. You were literally a superhero. So with all that being said, we are going to talk about every new thing that I like and dislike about the new Saints Row game, reboot, remake, whatever you want to call it, coming out very soon. Now, all of my opinions are mine, so if you don't like them, I get it, no big deal. But this is also coming from someone who was a giant fan of Saints Row 1 and 2, and not the other ones. Um, sadly, it it pretty much is, has been reported it's going to be like the other ones. It's going to be really goofy and I and I don't know why Saints Row that the, the gang feeling of Saints Row 1 and 2 was so good and it was so different compared to the time of GTA or, or even true crime at that time they were just Saints Row it stood out as just a really really good game and it's it's a bummer that we're never gonna get it again you know what I mean uh, the only way that we would ever get it again maybe is if they remaster them but I don't see them doing that. But anyways, we're going to be talking about the good and bad, or at least my opinion of the good and bad, my thoughts of it, of the new reboot. So for, uh, I'm just going to start off with the good. I feel like starting off with the good is always best. So that way the bad um, doesn't seem as bad. <laughs> there's a lot more bad, I will admit, but there's a, there, there is a surprising amount of good. I'm, 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 I'm surprised. All right, so number one, Mayhem is back. I, mayhem modes were so much fun in, in, in Saints Row. They're so much better than, I do believe it's Rampage, in GTA. The Rampage modes, and, and it also it also shows that hopefully we're going to be getting more modes like Rampage, and, and, and I'm in say Mayhem, like Mayhem and all the other modes that were in every single other Saints Row, especially Saints Row 2, I think, is when it started to get really popular. Those, those, those game modes are just a lot of fun. I do hope they're not necessary like Saints Row 3. <sighs> you shouldn't force people to have to do side stuff, but it, it looked like a lot of fun. I'll, I'll definitely give it some credit there. Gunplay. The gun, I, I gotta say, it's something that, it's something that Saints Row has always done really well. The gunplay looks fun. It looks awesome. It, <laughs> there's more to talk about this in the things I don't like, but so far, I, the, the, the way the guns look, the way they, the way you move when you shoot, just, just, just how agile you are. It just, it, it all looks and reminds me of old Saints Row, which is what I really, really enjoy. And then another smaller thing that I really enjoy, the world looks really fun. It's based off of Reno, Nevada, I do believe, which is awesome because Reno 911 is one of my favorite TV shows of all time. So a, uh, being able to walk around essentially Reno 911. Yeah, that's cool. That's going to be fun. But it, it, it definitely it definitely looks like a good, living, vibrant world where you can mess with the NPCs and you can mess with the pedestrians. You can even uh, there was a, there was a part where you could pull out a guitar from thin air. <laughs> I guess it was stored in her pocket and uh, start playing for people. Maybe you can make some money that weird way. Uh, it's just it's just small things that I enjoy about gaming, and that's one of them. Just being able to interact with people. But most people won't do it. They'll they'll walk by or they'll drive by. They won't even pay them attention. But it's it's a small detail that I enjoy. So, all right, I'll, I'll give I'll give the reboot props for that. These next two are awesome, and and Saints Row has always been really good, like much better than GTA at this. Clothing customization and car customization. There is a negative when it comes to the clothing. I will admit, but so far the clothing looked fine. There's a there's a huge amount of clothing options you can pick. The customization options in general, it's 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 very flush. It's there there's a lot to do. Car customization, oh I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. That was that that was the one thing I was really bummed with Saints Row Four. Saints Row Four, 
I always made the joke with my buddy when, because we co-opted the whole entire thing. I always made the joke that they put hours, hours of dev time, like 20 hours of dev time into just doing the max when it comes to car customization and just a whole just a whole bunch of stuff you can do with the vehicles in the game and then within the first 10 minutes you learn how to fly and you're faster than any car in the game <laughs> you also have super speed so there's no reason to drive the cars i'm really glad that they brought that amount of customization to this one it looks like there is a shit load of cars to pick from and it looks like each car you can customize every single little piece of it and i absolutely love it Saints Row, you've always been some of the best at it when it comes to open world games, and I'm glad you're continuing. The negative for the clothing, I mean, I'm going to shove this in. It's, uh, we're, we're basically, I mean, that, that, that's all the, what I liked anyway. So, you know what, let's just end it with, that is what I enjoyed about the new trailers that have been releasing and the new gameplay footage and stuff. So we're going to go to what I dislike, uh, the clothing. <laughs> um, even though there, it looked like there was a massive amount, it didn't look like you could change any colors of the clothing. Now, that could have been missed out on these trailers like maybe they skipped it or maybe that'll be added later but Saints Row was always big on that you could change your jackets your coats your shoes your socks even your laces you could just change the color of everything customization was really really huge when it comes to the clothing I feel like it might be gone even though there's a lot of clothing options they're they also look very westerny for some reason I don't know why or at least what they showed However, I can pretty much guess that there's way more customization options when it comes to clothing that they just didn't show off because you don't want to show off everything. All right, so like I said, we are in the things I did not like when I was watching these gameplay trailers, and I've watched a lot of them. <laughs> I, I mean, I've been keeping a close eye on this game, and well, I mean, let's just start off right here. I don't like your gang. The Saints look terrible. The Saints, if they, if they even call themselves the Saints, the Saints looks like a bunch of dropout college students that's just mad at the world because mom is <laughs> because mom and dad are total bummers it's just, why why <laughs> it, it you don't look like a gang why call it a gang Dude, uh, it <sighs> I, there, there's one gang in this game that actually looks like they're a real gang it's the dudes in yellow i don't know the name of them i'm sorry I'll, 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 if I can find the name, I'll put it right here. If not, obviously there's nothing there. But this gang in yellow, they look they they look inspired by Hispanic culture. That's fucking badass. They they they're covered in tattoos, muscle bound. They look like someone who's actually in a gang. That's what I want to see from my game about gangs. <laughs> that that's what I that's what I want to see about my game where I play a gang lord. And I'm going around taking out other gangs. It <laughs> the, the the way that your gang is compared to that specific gang, it's it, it always rem it's it's home alone. <laughs> it's home alone. You play as this weird dorky kid who's somehow able to take out criminals. <laughs> like yes, those criminals were dumb, sure, but if it was based in the real world. The criminals, I mean, it, it just would have been this scene right here. And there's some ice on the stairs to the basement, so I guess just don't go down there. Just so you guys know, I have a tarantula. Well, now there are no witnesses. <laughs> it's kind of laughable what uh, just just what they think gangs look like. It's weird. Speaking of gangs, this weird pink gang that I have, I don't, I don't, I don't know what they are. Um, it, it, well, you know what? I'll let Terry from Reno 911 discuss it. Started two, which are good. I just started the kitties and I started the grape slushies. And we're getting some respect. I mean, it's taking us a while, but you know, some people are interested, some people aren't, but whatever. We're gonna be pretty big soon. This is literally that gang. <laughs> Le like legitimately. They're, they're all pink. They wear cat heads. They really? This is a gang? This is who we're supposed to fear? This is who we're supposed to be like, oh God, we gotta go up against these guys. Man, they're, they're, they're always tough, and they're just really hard to take care of. Nope, <laughs> I'm never going to think that way. Every time I see them, I think to myself, oh, hey, look, there's the backup singers for Ariana Grande. Now, <laughs> they look too cute. They're covered in pink. Not a gang. I'm sorry. Just not. Another thing I noticed about the gunplay that I, I don't know if I'm 
I don't know if I'm okay with yet. Obviously, I have to play the game to really, really see if I enjoy this or not. The enemies look a little tanky. They do die quickly. I'm not saying they don't. But enemies definitely look tanky. And uh, depending on how far you get into this game and how many people they're going to have shooting at you at once, having tanky enemies is annoying. I mean, it's one. <laughs> you, you, you know what I mean? It's one of the reasons why I stopped playing Division. It, it, enemies who are just tanks. It's it's boring to deal with. All right, so this one I'm very leery on. I'm very I'm very scared of it. It kind of looks like you have superpowers. Uh, there are finishers in the game. That's pretty cool. That, hey, you know what? Yeah, boom! Look at that. <laughs> There's something good in the things I don't like. Uh, the finishers look pretty fun. I will admit that. But it you just like throw dudes that weigh three hundred some pounds around. You I don't know. It just I get this overall weird superhero-y feeling from this game. Um, I'm going to talk about that more later, but it, I don't know. I, I hope you don't have powers. That's all I'm saying. I i don't want another Saints Row with fucking superpowers. All right, so right now we're going to dive into uh, what I feel like this game reminds me of. Every time I see any gameplay of this of this game it doesn't remind me of saints row it doesn't remind me of saints row saints 2 it doesn't even remind me of saints row 3 or 4 maybe a little bit like dabbing there just a little bit like you can see you can see the ink spots of of where 3 and 4 is located what this really reminds me of is agents of mayhem you guys know what that is agents of mayhem definitely reminded me of saints row but it's not saints row you know what i'm saying Agents of Mayhem was a completely different game. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I don't know if it did well, but I at least enjoyed it. And I don't want Agents of Mayhem 2. If I wanted Agents of Mayhem 2, they should, like I'll, I'll buy Agents of Mayhem 2. Um, it, it feels a lot. <laughs> it looks a lot. Not feels, because obviously I'm not playing it. Looks a lot like Agents of Mayhem 2. I'm worried about that. Because, you know, like, 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 right here. He's just gliding off people's heads. He's bound. So, so his car jets him from the roof. Okay. I mean, it's it's possible. Uh, and then you go flying. He, he's just gliding right here. What is he, Batman? He's literally Batman in a suit. In a weird <laughs> western jacket. And he then bounces off of other dudes' heads to continue to fly? Sounds very Agents of Mayhem-y to me. <laughs> I don't know. I even noticed the gunplay looked a lot like Agents of Mayhem. Now, maybe, maybe. This is just, that's also what the Saints Row gunplay looked like, and since it's the same company, they are going to share similarities. Sure, I agree with that. Um, let's hope that's all it is. All right, so I, I know what you guys are probably thinking. You didn't make it this far. <laughs> but I know what you guys are probably thinking. What do I think? overall about at least from what we've seen so far of the new saints row reboot i also hate when you throw grenades in this game you just jump for no reason it's really dumb but anyway, anyways what do i think of the saints row reboot so far and again this is coming from someone who just really enjoys saints row one and two overall if i'm giving it a number grade it's a six out of ten <laughs> it it looks okay uh, I, I could definitely see a lot of people getting bored of it. I can definitely see a lot of people wanting games of their past and realizing this isn't it. I don't think, man, it's it's just a bummer what games have become, you know? it Gaming, gaming used to be awesome, and now I feel like the only reason game companies even make the game is so they can make microtransactions later. I <laughs> I mean games have, games have been coming out broken, full of bugs, but that store is never broken. And that those microtransactions are never bugged out. Cuz I think they work on them first. And that is a whole nother conversation for a whole nother video. I I don't understand why you wouldn't give someone what they want when it comes to their Saints Row game. We've been begging for a Saints Row game. And this just feels like Agents of Mayhem mixed with Saints Row. AKA Saints Row 3 or Saints Row 4 which were the worst performing ones. So I'm hopeful. <laughs> I'm I'm really hoping that it's going to it's going to blow it's going to blow my fucking mind, dude. I'm I really hope so. I guess we'll see. All right, guys, but what 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 do you think? Comment down below tell me what you guys think of 
everything that's been shown off. Tell me what you think of my opinions. <laughs> I, 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 you, you probably don't agree, and that's fine. Uh, comment your opinions below. <laughs> All right, guys. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw and you're new to the channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button, finger the notification bell, keep up with all my uploads. Again, comment down below, guys. Tell me what you thought of this video. Tell me what you thought of my opinions. Are, are they even yours? And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.